All right, boys, this video is going to be a replacement of the blade cable. I believe that's what it's called. I think it's called the blade cable or bra blade brake cable or something. Um, it's the one that makes the blades turn on up on that handle. So I was trying to move the camera because you couldn't see me undoing the one thing. Um, you know, trying to do video and all that. But uh, so... It's a bit, it'll sh I'll show you how to uh, replace that cable if it breaks because it broke on mine. Uh, it was crazy. I got that other pulley fixed and then I was mowing with it in the front yard. Everything was good. And that blade cable just decided to break all of a sudden. So I guess kind of unrelated, but you know, whatever it happened. So we're now replacing that blade cable too. Ordered that. And um, we're going to put that on there. So this video is kind of explaining about that. And um, and also I show you how to put that belt. That video, this video is not specifically for that. But I'll, in this video I will show you how to put on that blade belt right there to the right. That where it runs the blades. Alright boys, so you're going to measure the old one to mark for your metal thing right there. And this hooks on to a piece back there. But it's kind of hard to see. You also have one guide there you got to do. See that gold piece? It just, it, it's not tight on the cord. It just slips through. You got a zip tie here. You got to pull off this thing off of the bar. And then it splits so you can put in there. This thing up here, you got to loosen this little knob carefully not to mess up your uh, adjustment on this other silver cable. Because you got to sneak it behind there. And you got to turn it, pull it out. It has a little a little thing that goes behind there um, so you have to pull this cord out like that and then you can remove it off and I put this little thing and all they got is just one of these little things and I feel like it's not very good um, I hope that thing will, because like once you pry that off, I don't know how it stays back on. And then, took it under here. This I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but... Uh, there's a metal loop. Yeah, you can see it. See where that spring's on there? See right up on the top, the, the loop, the loop uh, goes away. So you can slip it right over that. And, uh, and as you can see, here's our, uh, replacing our, um, blue belt up there. That's the one for the, the clutch, the belt. And so you have to remove the lower belt and sneak it around that guide up there. It's a little bit of a pain, but you can get it. The hardest part is pulling down this spring on the transmission right where is it ah. yep see that spring you have to pull that down with pliers in order to hook it back on there to get once you got once you put the lower belt back on that's really the hardest part about putting that belt on and then and then you got to just take your guides off and uh nothing to it so I hope that now this thing's fixed, I'll have to push this little thing back on, but it's kind of like it has these little metal things so it doesn't fall off, it kind of grips the metal, but I had to take it off to take off that cable. It's got these little things that stick out, little metal piece. So I don't know if that thing's gonna stay on there. Like that's retarded. Let me show you this. What I'm talking about. See this thing? It just kind of snaps on there. I'm going to have to get some pliers, but I hope it stays. Like, that's a poor design. Why wouldn't they put like a bolt or something there? I might could even glue this on if I need to, but it's hard. I can't push it on. So it might come on. It might stay on there once I snap it, but yeah. All right. Let's see, then you. So. Hopefully that's it. All right, boys. I actually let it go out a few um, a few notches 
looser than it was because I think that's why it broke. I think from the factory it was too tight. Um, I think it was. So, because you know, I still, it's still, you know, it's still, boom, I can feel that spring contact and then I'm stretching the spring down like this. So, I mean, it's still pretty tight. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like maybe it was the way it was from the factory. Like I said, I think maybe that cable is pulling too hard on it. So it still feels tight, which it needs to be tight because it's gotta be all the way tight and then pull the spring apart a little bit to keep that tension on that belt. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. I might even loosen it. I might even loosen it a tad more just because. All right guys, one last thing is it was going real slow and I was wondering if I overstretched the spring when I put the transmission back. So I took the spring back off and put it on with it twisted tighter. You know what I mean? Like the coil of the spring, I put it on like kind of twisted tighter and then hooked it on the frame under there and it still wasn't fixed. So I think what the problem is, be careful River, because this is going to be hot still. The exhaust is going to be hot. I think that I did slip down a couple bumps right here when I was had to loosen this up a bunch of times to do the cable. So I pulled that down a little bit, tightened the knob, and uh, now it seems to be going normal. So that's something you may encounter as well. Me and River are just going to go ahead and see if we can get the, the blades sharpened up and balanced up. Uh, and then hopefully it'll be good. Man, I don't know, boys. All right, then. Let's get to it. River's worried we need to put that on before it gets loud. I'm going to put them on, don't worry.